channel it's your girl E and I'm back with another one so today we're going to be doing some bedroom wall decor we're going to be transforming this wall right here with some peel and stick wallpaper so pretty much I'm going to be making like a little backdrop for like my videos of course but I kind of wanted to do this with you guys because I am going to be transforming this room into like a content room or like a creative room so yeah I'm excited <laughs> now I did not uh, measure the wall and that's something that I should have definitely did so don't be like me when you're ordering your wallpaper make sure that you measure out your wall and ratio to your wallpaper so that you have enough um, <laughs> I'm hoping that I have enough wallpaper for this whole wall, but I think I do. Altogether, I have five more of these rolls left. So far, I've used two. So just keep in mind, if you're buying a roll like this, um, it'll pretty much take up this amount of wall. Also, I do have a little bit of that wallpaper left from like the roll that I used for this piece right here. So this is pretty much what you'll have left, which might take up another half of the wall. So, um, also I'm going to be adding some accessories to this wall after I put the wallpaper on it. So make sure you watch to the end to see the final look. And yeah, if you're new here, just make sure to press that subscribe button, put on your post notifications so you can see all my creative DIY shenanigans. <laughs> So make sure you're subscribed and your post notifications are on so you can get the notification. And I will link this wallpaper in the description. I did get it from Amazon. You know, I'm an Amazon girly. And of course, you know, Amazon is just the quickest to deliver. You know, it's all about time for me. So I will go ahead and add that to the bio as well as anything else that I'm going to be using. And yeah, let's jump into it. <laughs> Okay, so two things that you're gonna need handy are some thumbtacks or um, some wall pins. You can get these at like Office Max or Office Depot or Walgreens. You can get thumbtacks or whatever anywhere. So you wanna just get some like pins for the wall and a pair of scissors because you're going to need to cut uh, the wallpaper at the bottom. Um, and then of course you're gonna need these to go ahead and hold the wallpaper up. So yeah, make sure you have some scissors and some pins or thumbtacks or whatever you call them. <laughs> Another thing, I just had to flip it over because you want the colors to match up so it can be pink and pink because before I had it the opposite way and it would have been pink, I mean dark pink on the light pink. So you want the colors to also like match up. So you can see this is actually pretty long. Okay, so now we're gonna cut the wallpaper um, at the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead and just kind of, you know, kind of rub the wallpaper against the wall just so that it makes a little indention so I know where it's at. And then what I do is really easy. Where that line is, I kind of just fold it. I just fold it, take the scissors, And I'm just cutting it up like that. Easy. And you can see, I'm gonna line it up. Perfect. That's pretty much how you do it. 
Now as you can see, there's a little bit of space in between this right here. That's fine because when I'm actually laying it, I'm gonna make sure that it lines up, you know, when I stick it, as long as the length is correct, which it is. So we have a good amount of wallpaper left, so that's good. So I think we'll be good on the wallpaper. So pretty much I'm going to do the same thing that I just did right here to the rest of the wall. After I complete the whole wall and make sure that it's all filled with pen wallpaper, then I will be taking the peel off of the wallpaper and sticking it on. Um, so right now I'm pretty much just lining it up. That way I know how much wallpaper I have and what I need and you know, before I go ahead and start the process. So as you can see, I just have a little piece to cover up. I have more than enough wallpaper, so that's good. And uh, I bought seven rolls and I have extra, so I can even do something else with the other part. I do want to say be very careful with this wallpaper because it does feel very light and it feels like it can tear very easily. Um, but for the price that I got it for, you know, and you get what you pay for. It was kind of hard to find better quality for like this type of design for some reason. But um, it's still, I mean, it's still good. I think all wallpaper will be thin and easy to tear. So just be careful, long story short. But um, I think it's, you know, good wallpaper, but I guess we'll know for sure once I, you know, officially stick it off. Though. We'll see. Okay, so out of the seven rolls that I got, I have one roll left. Um, but I'm not going to be using this. Again, I have a lot of leftover wallpaper. Um, so I'm just gonna be using these two pieces to kind of finish off the wall. Um, this looks like it's a little bit wider than the width of this wallpaper, so I might have to use some of the extra wallpaper just to kind of finish off that uh, thin little piece I'm gonna have to do at the end, so. Let's see how it looks. So this is where that piece got us. Pins come in handy so good. You know? Okay, so now we have finished putting up all the smaller pieces up right over there. So um, you'll pretty much see how I'm gonna make it work, but that's actually enough wallpaper. I'm just gonna have to cut that part of it off and then put it in that other little spot right there. And then now we're going to start peeling and sticking to the wall. So you're actually going to need um, like a flat surface to smooth the wallpaper out as you're pasting it. I did not get one. So I just kind of pretty much tore this off of the box and I'm going to use this to smoothen out the wallpaper as I start to do it. And you can kind of see I pretty much already um, put one down. It actually sticks really good. I think also because I just kind of moved in and the walls are already painted. But um, yeah, I kind of messed up a little bit. Like, you know, you can see that there's a little bubbles, but for the most part, you can see towards the end Towards the end, there's no bubbles because I went and got the cardboard. So you are gonna need something like this. This is my first time using peel and stick wallpaper. So I think so far we're doing okay. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, peel and stick. I'm gonna have to take the pins off of course so I can go ahead and take off the um, peel and stick from the, from the paper. So you can see I pretty much unpeeled just a little bit to get it started. So make sure you're taking your time because you do not want to line this up cricket, okay? Do not rush yourself, take your time, try your best to get it as accurate as possible. I've got it lined up. Um, so now I'm going to use the cardboard and smooth it out as I remove the end of the wallpaper um, sticker. So I'm smoothing it out. I want to make sure the top is, you know, locked in. 
as I go. I want to make sure it's lined up as I'm unpeeling. It is lined up. Okay, you guys, we're two stripes down and we got five more to go. So, as you can see, you know, you just gotta try your best to line it up. You know, you just gotta try your best and make sure that they're aligned and that they're smooth. But so far, it looks great. I love it. <laughs> it doesn't feel too sticky, so I don't think it'll mess up your wall when it's time to take it down. Um, actually, it feels just right. So, let's see how the rest of the wall comes out and of course I will update you guys and let you guys know if it unpeels or unravels or anything like that in the future. Um, one thing that I will say is if you're going to do this, get a box cutter. That will make it so much easier when you're cutting it at the bottom. Um, get a box cutter, get a um, actual, I forget what they call it, but it's to smoothen out the wallpaper. Usually the same company that sells the wallpaper sells the, um, I forget the name, but um, I will probably add that in the description. Also, I have more, um, DIY uh, stick and put wallpaper that I'll be doing around the house. So I'll probably get it for the next video. So yeah, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Oh my God. Having my first mess up right now. Let's see if I can save it. And that's just to show you guys, like I said, this wallpaper is very um, thin. So you do gotta be careful. You do gotta be careful. Okay guys, you guys can see I've made really good use of the little parts um, that was left of the other rows. I pretty much, you know, aligned it as best as I could um, and it still looks pretty good. So this is our last roll. I don't know what I'm going to use this for yet. Um, it's not a lot, so if I really wanted to do anything with it, I would probably need to order more. But I could probably do a little something, something with it. We'll see. So the last piece to our DIY wall, here it goes. Now I'm just going in and I'm fixing a couple of the cracks that I noticed where you can kind of see the pink. And I'm just putting a strip of pink on there. And again, we're just kind of testing out where it looks best. I got these um, for about $10. So I will be uh, linking 
where you can get these from um, in the description. So let's go ahead and get the sign up on there. We're going to nail these nails into the wall. These are just super thin and I'm just going to nail them in. They should be long enough just for me to like be able to hook the sign on to. Okay you guys, so now we're about to add some flowers to this to just give it some pop and hopefully these colors I chose look good with the sign because I had bought these from Dollar Tree before the sign ever even came. This is looking real nice. This is looking real, real nice. I like this. I like this. I like this. And I have a remote for this. I just have to put the batteries in. And I think I can even make it flicker and all types of stuff. So. Okay, you guys, that's going to conclude our DIY wall transformation bedroom decor. And yeah, guys, I am in love with it. Oh my gosh, it looks so cute. <laughs> it's so cute. But also, I'm going to be doing another DIY wall. Um, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be a different wallpaper. So yeah, let's see how that one's going to come out. I'm so excited. I'm having so much fun with this. And all the materials that I use for this will be in the description or the ones I recommend that I didn't have. Um, I will be sure to put that in the description. Again, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to our channel, put on your post notifications so that way you're notified when I post a new video. Thank you guys for tuning in and if you waited to the end, let me know what you think and I will see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>